I'm sharing this dream I have. This is a dream about Russia's attack on the U.S. So I'm going to be reading this to you because it's a kind of like a long dream. So I had this dream approximately two years ago. So in this dream, I was at a place outdoors and it looked like a hill with some small lake area. There were many people gathered watching and playing some type of hologram video game. Then all of a sudden, I look up to the sky and I see this huge white plane flying over us. It had a two-stripe flag painted on its side. Um, bottom stripe was yellow and the top stripe was blue. Then the plane opened its rear hatch and it starts dropping flying drones. There were thousands of them and these drones started dropping bombs all over the place. Me and my friend that was with me with her baby ran as fast as we could and I knew right away that I had to protect them. We ran to an underground tunnel and we hid there. The dream changed. Now I was at a military camp and I was a Russian boy about 10 years old. He was born in line, dressed up with military uniform and he was not the only one there. There were many kids from approximately Age, ages 8 to 15 years old. An adult man who seemed like a commander was telling the kids to kill all the Americans and the kids raised their weapons as in response of equipment. Then the dream changed again. Now I am looking at a TV newscast. I could see the map of the United States and the entire north of the US was blown to pieces. Everything was on fire. There were dead bodies all over the news. Then the news anchor was saying that the Russians attack had left, had left barely any survivors, if any survivors at all. Then the dream ended. Okay, so today I'm sharing this dream of the IDF chief of Israel. I had this dream, I think it was in 2019. So this dream started with me. I was driving a car, then all of a sudden I stopped in the middle of nowhere. And I could see it was like a fence place. It was a big fence place. And in the middle of this fence place, it was a small building. So I ran down a hill that it took me to what it looked like a dried up beach. And in the middle of this beach, it were war tanks. There were many war tanks in there. But I, I, the whole time in my dream, I was feeling like I was being persecuted by someone. So I ran up the hill again and I lay on my belly to see this guy coming out of this building in the fence place. He came out of the, uh, out of the building and he had a gun on his hand. This guy was dressed with uniform and I had understood that he was the IDF chief of Israel. I didn't know how do I knew that, but I just knew that that's who he was. And I could see people kneeling on the floor with their hands tied up. And that guy just came out and then started shooting him on the head and killing them. And then that's where my dream ended. sharing this dream with you and I'll be reading it uh, so I was at a house with some family members and we were gathered there like we were expecting something major to happen in the world then I knew it was time for that something to happen so I told my family to go inside this room and lock the door then everything went dark and I heard a loud explosion like nothing I ever heard before. It was so loud that everything shook and all the doors and windows rattled very, very hard. Then after a moment, I stepped outside to see what, hap what happened. And I see the whole land being broken into many pieces. And I knew that the whole world was also broken. 
like if a mighty and powerful earthquake struck the whole earth. Then I could see large crowds gathered. They were listening to Donald Trump speaking. He had a Bible in his hand. He was saying to the people, read the Bible and to believe in Jesus Christ. Then I could also see that in a different place, it was this guy, he was tall and skinny, and he was giving a speech. I do not know what he was saying, but during his speech, he was on top of a moving platform and a few feet in the air. Then all of a sudden, I see him falling to the ground. Then the ambulance right away took him. The scene changed, and then I could see that the armies of the whole world were getting ready for war. I saw many, many armies. These armies were marching one behind the other, each holding their country's flag. Then dream ended.